All right, listen up. Your presence seems to stir up a range of emotions in people. Some might feel pressured, angry, or even a bit foolish. But here's the deal. Whether you're a light worker, a healer, an earth angel, or simply someone who operates on a higher vibration, you're proving people wrong just by being yourself and focusing on your personal growth. Your commitment to self-improvement might make others feel inadequate, but here's the exciting part. You're about to enter an extraordinary phase in your life. All the hard work you've been putting in is about to pay off in a big way. You know you've been putting in the effort and never just sitting around. If you're committed to self-improvement and making significant strides, this message is for you. There's something genuinely extraordinary about you that makes others introspect. Your admirable virtues and qualities are striking, leaving a deep impression on those around you. Certain individuals in your life act as beacons, guiding you towards your best self. Curious about what virtues are? Let me explain. Virtues are the fundamental qualities that shape your character, such as honesty, courage, compassion, generosity, integrity, fairness, self-control, and prudence. These virtues function like superpowers, steering you towards the right decisions in life. And trust me, you possess these virtues in abundance. You exude a positive energy with an attitude that's like pure gold. Your spirit is resilient, and you remain positive even in challenging situations, regardless of others' behavior. There's someone who isn't pleased about your positivity. They can't fathom how you manage to stay upbeat all the time. They might throw shade because they don't understand how you remain undeterred, no matter what. Their frustration stems from your unshakable positivity, even when things don't go their way. But that's their issue, not yours. Keep shining brightly like the star you are. Pay attention to the signs around you. Maybe you're seeing numbers like 202, 222, 44, 444, or lots of ones and fours. These numbers are messages from the universe, encouraging you to trust your instincts and keep moving forward. Don't let anyone's doubts dim your spirit. You've got this. Your presence is making waves, and people are definitely noticing. Want to know why? Because the word shame came through loud and clear. Those who have been causing you trouble are starting to feel a deep sense of shame. Let me explain. They lashed out at you because they were hurting inside. Perhaps they were dealing with their own pain. Or maybe they were envious of what you have. Yes, exactly. They saw something in you that they wanted for themselves, and that led them to act out. They saw something in you that they wished they had themselves, and it led them to act out inappropriately. However, they are beginning to grasp the seriousness of what they've done, and it's deeply affecting them. That's why they're wrestling with shame and regret. They now see their mistakes clearly and feel remorseful. It's important to remember that their actions were never really about you. They were driven by their own internal struggles and issues. Keep shining brightly and allow them to confront and resolve their own challenges. Reflect on the song, Naturally, by Selena Gomez, released in 2009. Maybe something significant occurred in your life during that period. Perhaps someone was attempting to cause problems for you. Now, they're experiencing the repercussions of their actions. Karma has caught up with them, illustrating the principle of what goes around comes around. Regarding any attempts of candle magic against you, those efforts have failed, and now they are facing the consequences of their own manipulative actions. Those who engaged in deceitful behavior in the past are now reaping what they sowed. The fact that someone is deeply shaken indicates that they are realizing you won't settle for less than you deserve. They are unsettled because you are standing firm, rejecting the inadequate offerings they try to give you, and asserting your true worth. They are amazed that you easily discern their manipulative tactics, didn't fall prey to their schemes, and bravely chose to distance yourself from their deceitful behavior. Their profound unsettlement is palpable, akin to a leaf trembling in a fierce storm. Someone is deeply reflecting on past interactions with you, contemplating and possibly regretting how things unfolded. 
They are imagining alternative outcomes and facing the consequences of their actions. Those who caused you distress are now grappling with their own shame. Their hurtful actions stem from their own inner struggles, perhaps pain or envy prompting them to act out inappropriately due to something they perceived in you that they desired for themselves. Now they are coming to terms with the weight of their actions deeply affected by feelings of shame and remorsefully acknowledging their mistakes. They are not proud of how they behaved. It's important to remember that their actions were never truly about you. Rather, they were driven by their own internal struggles and issues. As you continue to shine brightly, focus on your own path and allow them the space to confront and resolve their personal challenges. Meanwhile, there is someone out there who finds themselves constantly thinking about you, their mind filled with memories and reflections on what could have transpired. Whether your connection was complex, like a love triangle, or more casual, such as friends with benefits, this person is fixated on the moments you shared. They replay these memories repeatedly, contemplating the different outcomes that might have unfolded if circumstances had been different. They find themselves constantly daydreaming about the intimate moments you shared, viewing you as the pinnacle of their romantic experiences. They vividly recall the passion and excitement, remembering the deep connection and intensity of your encounters. These memories are deeply ingrained in their mind, making it challenging for them to move on. Release any expectations that contradict the promises I have made to you. Trust in me for I am leading you towards the realization of your deepest desires and dreams. I have not forsaken you or turned my back on you. Resolve to break free from the chains of unfounded fear and resist its hold over your life. The accomplishments you have achieved so far are just the beginning of a season overflowing with abundance. Are you prepared to experience such overflow that it cannot be contained? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same weight and authority as if they were spoken and acted upon by me personally? You are on the verge of stepping into a new era, where you will encounter fresh blessings flowing from the sacrifice made on the cross. These blessings are unfolding in your healing, spiritual growth, relationships, and even in your financial stability. Approach this season with confidence and fully immerse yourself in the abundance of life that I have poured out specifically for you to receive. Trust in me, for as you invest your faith, you access the limitless wealth of the kingdom, which surpasses any earthly provision. Always remember, I am by your side, steadfast and faithful, never leaving you nor forsaking you. Embrace this time of abundant blessings, my dear one for they are rightfully yours to claim. Today marks the beginning of a profound transformation in your life, emerging from a deeper intimacy with me and a revelation of my glory. This transformation is unfolding like a graceful dance of growth and exploration. My word echoes deep within your spirit, like the gentle voice that Adam and Eve once heard in the serene moments of the day. I am journeying through the garden of your inner being, beckoning you to seek me and deepen our connection. In this significant moment, I draw nearer to you, stirring the strings of your heart, allowing my sound, my voice, and my song to emerge and bring liberation to many. Be ready, beloved child, for your presence will captivate when you enter any space. At times, even those who seem composed may unexpectedly reveal inner struggles they battle silently. Today marks the beginning of a beautiful transformation in your life, blossoming from a renewed closeness with me and a deeper revelation of my glory. This change unfolds like a graceful dance of growth and discovery. My word resonates deeply within your spirit, akin to the soothing voice Adam and Eve once heard in the tranquil moments of the day. I walk through the garden of your inner being, extending an invitation to seek me and deepen our bond. In this crucial moment, I draw close to you, gently strumming the strings of your soul, allowing my sound, my voice, and my song to resonate and liberate many. Prepare yourself, dear child, for your presence will command attention wherever you go. 
in moments when someone, though outwardly composed, wrestles with hidden struggles that manifest physically, observe these occasions as potential opportunities. Like unruly children seeking attention, these inner demons reveal themselves, seeking resolution and release. Your presence carries the potential for transformation and liberation. With a simple decree from you, be still and depart. You will exemplify my divine authority. My hand is ready to manifest uniquely and powerfully in your life. Anticipate extraordinary encounters that may unfold outside conventional church settings, arising naturally in your daily life as you remain steadfast in your authenticity. Beside you, a catalyst for change will spark transformations in those around you. While you shine with the brilliance of my glory where there was once disappointment and defeat, today, I am orchestrating a complete work across your past, present, and future. My spirit is actively at work in your history, bringing freedom and restoration to every fractured part of your life. From past wounds and traumas, where you once felt insecure and vulnerable, I am bringing resolution, security, and healing. You are firmly held in my embrace, shielded from the trials and uncertainties of the world. Nothing and no one can snatch you from my loving care. Now is your time to soar like a bird in flight, wrapped in a cocoon of my presence, love, peace, and faithfulness. As you rise in worship, you are equipped to engage in spiritual battles, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. Extend forgiveness, release, and blessings to those who may disappoint you, knowing that your trust rests securely in the anointing of Christ within you. Find deep rest and live with unwavering assurance, anchored in my steadfast love. In this season, embrace the freedom found in discovering your identity in me. Release all doubts and cling steadfastly to the unfailing promises I have spoken over your life. Approach each day with courage and joy, secure in the knowledge that your life is firmly held in my hands, and I will never forsake you. Today, let your prayers resound with passion and energy, tapping into the profound power they hold in my presence. Your words spoken in prayer create a direct link to the throne of the Almighty. Through prayer, you transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Pray with unwavering confidence, and witness mountains crumble and barriers tremble in your path. Your earnest prayers hold the power to transform my promises into tangible realities and bring remarkable breakthroughs into your life. The angels assigned to you eagerly await your prayers, poised to present them before my throne. Therefore, do not withhold your prayers, knowing that I am always attentive and eager to hear them. My heart is inclined to respond with a resounding affirmation, demonstrating that no challenge is insurmountable for me in meeting your needs. The sacrifice of the cross underscores the depth of my commitment to assist you in your times of greatest need. Your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformations, miracles, and breakthroughs you seek. Remember, your prayers are an invitation for me to manifest and work wonders in your life. Open your heart wide and let my love flood in, transforming every part of who you are. Embrace the promises I've made to you. They are as reliable as the sunrise each morning. Release the burdens of past pain. In my love, there is only healing, joy, and the promise of a brighter future. Hold firmly to your unwavering faith and trust in me. Keep pouring out your heart in prayer, seeking my guidance and provision humbly, for your breakthrough is near. The season of despair is ending, and scarcity is over for good. From now on, you walk a path illuminated with abundant blessings. This is your moment, and I sense the restlessness in your spirit and the turmoil in your heart. But do not fear. For today, I grant you my peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding, filling every corner of your being with tranquility. A significant opportunity awaits you even now. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited and every step is an act of trust. 
This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number 1. Walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust and decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number 2. Trusting in God's timing over our own The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about His perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. 
It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often means stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, 
initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging, as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number six, persevering in faith despite challenges. The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number seven, walking in faith, not by sight. The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown Trusting in God's word sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, 
assured that his plan for us is perfect and his timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, 
anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives. Trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the one who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, 
are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. 
To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.